Brad Wardle, call sign Captain Wingnut from Cougar Ridge Ranch, high in the UN Mountains of Eastern Utah. And today I'm going to shake in some new bees for the ranch. So let me show you how I do. We're expecting some really, really cold temperatures to come in the next couple of days. We're going to be in the mid-teens. And so this is how I protect them. Let's go. So as I was getting ready to do this, I was looking at these uh, packages. These are called packages of bees. They've got 3,000 bees and, and a queen in each one. And the can on the top has sugar water in it so that they can have a treat, uh, something to eat, while they travel their thousands of miles to get to us. I noticed two drones. That is a Carniola drone right there. Yeah, Carniola drone living on the side of the package begging the nurse bees to be fed just like all these other little stragglers that are hanging on they're begging the nurse bees for some of that good nectar that's inside there then as i was sweeping around with the camera i found another drone and that's an italian drone you can tell by their big bug eyes they're they've got like helmet eyes their helmet eyes can cover their whole head and they're much larger than the other bees and you can see that he's spreading his wings and he's begging to be fed so that's what drones look like and their size so here's the box that they're going to go in well one i'm going to take out four frames i've got frames already in here that were from another hive and they've got a little honey in them and they're drawn out. I'm going to take out four frames, the outside frames that are real honey filled. You can see that. That'll just be good to get these new bees started. And I'll take the other two from here. Putting them just in another bee box. And I'm going to make a space here. I've already put some two drops of lemongrass oil in the bottom and let's see I'm going to leave myself just a little room here I want a little more room I'm going to put this frame back so I can put the queen cage in here and then I'm going to move this over as soon as they're in Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smoke my hands and shirt a little bit just so I smell like smoke and not like something they're gonna sting. Then I'm gonna take the package here and I'm just gonna put. Just a little bit of smoke on them, just to let them calm down a little bit. Then I'm going to knock this so that it knocks them down inside, just once. That gets them all down into the bottom, and they'll climb up real fast. But I'll take the feed can out and knock the bees off of that. Then we'll take this, and we'll take the queen cage out. Okay, and we'll just get the nurse bees off of that. Then we'll put the queen in our pocket, and you can see that she's in there running around. We'll put her in our, in our pocket to keep her warm. Then we're going to dump these bees right in the bottom. It's uh, about 7.30 at night, so the sun's about to go down, and so they don't want to really fly. It's about 60 degrees, so that's going to be something for them. Okay, so now I'm just going to put this over the can just for a moment, and I'm going to put a gate on 
and this gate is open yep that's gonna work okay we're gonna put the queen we're gonna put the queen in here so that she's down I like to put them down I'm gonna just bind her in here take a couple of these other frames and just put some weight against her actually I think I'll pull this frame over since it's got all the bees on it already I'll pull this frame over and they're already feeling like they're at home they're already feeling good and I'll put this extra honey frame in so that she, her cage is just really bound in there. And I'm going to put the gate on. Come on, girl. Get in there. Then I'm going to take the rest of these bees. And I'm going to put them right over the gate so that they can climb down in there. And find home. I'm going to take this can of nectar and I'm going to save it. I'm just going to leave it right in here. I'm going to set it up so it doesn't leak. And then tomorrow when I come to release the queen, open the cork, then I'm going to take this box out and I'm going to put that can over the hole so that they can continue to eat. Now I'm going to take a empty box, put this empty box on here so that when it gets down to 25 degrees tonight, they're all they're all cozied in and nice. Then I'm going to close it up. And as you can see, I've only got five or six bees that are floating around. So, it happened really well, real easy. I didn't even get stung, and I usually get stung doing this. All right. Brad Wardle, call sign Captain Wingnut from Cougar Ridge Ranch, high in the Union Mountains of eastern Utah. <laughs> Shaking in bees. Hasta la vista, baby!